Freddie, are you saying you need a video like ASAP? but you didn't put it in your budget for this year or you just forgot to include it or it just came to you, you want to have a video for your website, LinkedIn, or social media accounts. What do you do? Most of us nowadays have smartphones. Have you thought of using that? It's not as professional as hiring a professional video company, but it will help you get a video out there quick and easy and a lot less expensive. So using your smartphone, here are some tips and tricks on using one. First, you want to know why you're doing the video. So you want to have a script. You don't want to read from that script because you're going to seem too scripted. Too scripted means that you want to make sure that you're saying the exactly right thing at every point. People are going to see through it. They want to see the real you. So you want to have a script, but you're going to use it as a reference or as bullet points. You take out those key parts and you use that. Step two. Find a neutral background. You don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff behind you. You're either going to want to be sitting at your desk that's clean, or you want to find a blank wall in your office or home. Having a blank wall is a little bit more professional. It doesn't show everything going on in the background. Sitting at your desk shows that you ha you're in your office or doing something business related, so it helps give you a little bit more there. Third tip, you want to get a microphone. You don't want to just use your smartphone's microphone because you're going to not you're going to pick up everything around you. You don't want to do that. You want to have everything isolated as much as possible. That way they're hearing you and not everything going on in the background. Which means you also want to find a quiet place. So if you have your office, you want to be there when the neighbor next door is not playing a bunch of music. You want to be there when there's not cleaning going on. You want it to be quiet. So maybe early in the morning or late at night after your meetings. Tip four, it's time to start shooting. So now that you have your quiet place, your microphone, your script, and your neutral background, it's time to start. So using your smartphone, I'm gonna show you with an iPhone because that's what I have. You're gonna to wanna to hold it not vertical, but horizontal. Horizontal is gonna cover your screen, the screen that YouTube gives you. By full, filling that out, it shows that you're a little bit more professional. So when you're shooting, hold it this way, not this way. Once you have all that, you're now ready. But hopefully you didn't mess up too many times because if you don't have an editing program, you're gonna wanna try to go straight through. So rehearse, but don't over rehearse. You want it to seem natural, but not too scripted. Too scripted, you're gonna lose the magic that you are, have in yourself to be putting onto your screen. Another little thing that I forgot to mention is you don't want to have your phone being held out like this. You don't want to seem like it's selfie time. It's not going to look very professional. Set it up on a desk or a table so that it's sitting there just like this as you're talking to it. Have your microphone on your shirt or if you do get a shotgun, use that. But you're going to want to have it sitting propped up against something and then you sit in front of it. So that's our tips for today with getting a video as soon as you can. Doing a video on your own is fun, but it's also challenging. You don't have somebody to talk to, so you are talking to a machine. Maybe you do want to go with a professional the first time you do a video. That way, you have help throughout what you're doing. Well, that's all I have for you today on Life Frame by Frame. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!